what you think about, you bring about. What does that mean? It means whatever you're thinking about, you attract it to you. It comes into your life. More than that, because everything, everything, you, me, the computer, everything is energy, pure energy. So as soon as you think a thought, you don't have to speak it. It's going out there in the universe where it then attracts anything with a light vibration into your world. I am Reverend Ellie Bierman. Thanks for joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical show where we show you how to find the invisible forces driving your life in each moment because when you know what they are you can do it with conscious awareness let's continue many many years ago i had a whole jewelry business i actually still do these two necklaces if you're watching they're a stone called sodalite and for a period of time, I was making the jewelry and it looks a little bit like lapis lazuli and even sometimes like turquoise, but it's a blue stone with some gray and white in it. And I was making jewelry with it because I think it's really pretty. And suddenly the price jumped like more than double. So I investigated, what the heck? Why did the price increase so much? Come to find out at the time, there was a soda light shortage. The word was all the soda light in existence had been found and had been used and had been mined. And the little bit that was left it was a rarity, and that's why it cost so much. So I stopped ordering. I stopped making new pieces with it. And I don't remember exactly how much longer it was. Maybe it was a year over that. And suddenly, I saw soda light everywhere. But Proctor always said, there is more than enough of everything that you could want on earth. And if it's not part of the visible earth, then the universe will create more. So it will again be present. And that's what happened with solar light because suddenly it came back in large amounts and went back down to the previous price. That's one way I knew personally about energy, how it works. But here's something that may have come into your life. As a healthcare practitioner, or even as a client going to see somebody else, what's the first thing that most people will ask? They want to say, well, what brings you here today? What's wrong? What's bothering you? What is happening when they use those words, what's wrong, what's missing, what's hurting you, what's the problem, right away, you are putting yourself in a category of someone who has a problem. Well, what if you have a problem? You're going to attract more problems, more energy that's hurtful to you. That's a real problem I have with many practitioners and psychotherapists. They want to know what's wrong and let's talk about the problem and let's clear the issue. Well, when I started my practice, I'd have them list everything that they wanted corrected. That's another way of saying the same thing. What's the problem that brought you here? And I made sure that each issue was completely cleared before I'd let them leave. And then I started thinking, hmm, if I'm listing 
very specific problems. What about the problems? What about the issues out of their awareness? Does that mean they don't get treated? So at that point, I stopped asking, what are your issues? What's bringing you here today? And I just went ahead and did the energy work and cleared just all kinds of things without asking. And people got their good results because I never let anybody leave until every single one of the 15 energy systems, body systems, meridian systems were on working clearly at 100%. So when somebody's telling you thoughts are real things, they're very real things. Have you ever been thinking about somebody who maybe you haven't seen in a very long time? That's you putting out the energy of that person. Well, there's no such thing as time or distance. Suddenly the phone rings. And guess who it is? It's the person whose energy had just come to you. Let me say that again. You were thinking about them. Energy's real. There's no such thing as time or distance. And it went right out to that person. And they called you to connect. Because the bottom line is you were already connected. Whatever you think about, you bring about. The energy is real. It has certain patterns. Whatever you're thinking about, those patterns are powerfully going out in the universe. And guess what? They're attracting anything, everything, anyone who's vibrating at that same frequency. So one way you'll hear oh, mm, practitioners speak that phenomenon is what you're looking for is looking for you. So it's not a coincidence that suddenly all these things that you were desiring are turning up in your life every place. Think about when was the last time you really wanted something? You really wanted something to come into your life. You hadn't shared aloud with anybody. All you do is think it. And within 24 hours or maybe even immediately, there it is in your world. Exactly the circumstance that you wanted. It's like when I had with the soda light. I really, really liked creating jewelry and fashion out of soda light. And it has some very, very powerful energies, which I'm not going to go into right now. So think about what is in your world, or rather, what would you like to come into your world and start thinking there? You want to come from a place of positive energy. It's what you desire to come to you. It's not what you're wishing or hoping for. It's what you absolutely desire coming from a place of love, coming from a place of knowing, coming from your heart. Because all creation, all the changes in your world, in your life, come only from your heart being fed through the subconscious and connecting with the energies in the universe that can manifest just what you're looking for. If you are having any kind of doubts about how does this work, how do I find out how to make my world work, how do I change my thoughts? Here's a good word for you, paradigm. How do you change your paradigm? Because first, you got to know what your paradigm is. It's a set, a pattern of behaviors. And you were born into it because it came through 
when we used to test for what was happening going through the family lines, they're called miasms. They're all in your paradigm. History, generations, generations of family patterns out of your awareness is that they show up until you take charge of creating your own paradigm. And that's why I say struggle is optional. Yeah, that stuff's there. Yes, it exists. Yes, out of your awareness. But that doesn't mean you can't consciously think new thoughts, new patterns of how you wish to live your life. Be sure you contact me and I'll show you how. Today, when you go and look at Audible, you can choose the audio book of your choice. And I highly recommend Bob Proctor and his partner, Sandy's book on paradigms. Change your paradigm, change your life. And I'll have links for all of those in the show notes. The thing to remember is it's your life only. You're not going to live it as your life until you awaken to whose life you're really living. And it's not going to be your own until you create your own paradigm. Thanks again for being here today. I am Reverend Ali Bierman. And I wish you to remember to enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-I, every moment. Because nothing in your life happens outside of you. I look forward to being here with you next time.